okay welcome back to the channel guys i'm just saying my piece and uh, this is building your dream house in jamaica and as i've said so many times building your dream house is not simply building the building it is building your dream and it is ensuring that your surroundings are comfortable and it is also knowing what to do when you plant your garden plant your orchard or plant your fruit trees and to take care of the surrounding areas and to that to that end I am sort of putting together these videos so people who have never really done this sort of thing can get a basic understanding of what they're in for if they decide to retire to Jamaica and uh, are decide, have decided to put together their, um, their dream house. So you build your house and you have your garden or you may have bought somewhere and it is fruited or it may be something like this um, and you may have to take care of it. So is all part of building your dream house now <coughs> i have said this before but i'm going to reiterate we are in a valley here is one um very tall hill on this side and here's another very tall hill on this side and this valley runs i think it's north to south and it's so what you do have are these fruit trees all sort of fruit trees apples avocado mango jackfruit um, sour orange guinep all those trees and the problem with being in a valley is that all these trees are they tend to grow very very tall and they all also tend to compete against each other and the downside of that is that they are not as productive as they could be so what I am going around this property here and doing is topping these trees and by topping them I mean take off the taller sections that um, are really not very productive. Getting the trees to be a little shorter and forcing them to spread out instead of growing too tall. And the idea being that we will then continue to do this. This property has been neglected for quite some time because my mom, she, you know, she can't take care of it. Uh, you cannot imagine my mother climbing this jackfruit tree with a chainsaw for example so as you can see they are kind of out of hand take this avocado tree for example this avocado tree is about 50 feet tall and well they are unclimbable so you can imagine that when they grow avocados on top here well nobody is going to climb them they are going to stay there until they fall so we are going to top these trees we can cut them off somewhere around um, about a little less than halfway up and force them to spout to spread and um, the jack jackfruit tree that we have here let me just take you over to here this jackfruit tree is very 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 old and it seems to have developed some kind of an issue we are not sure if it's a fungus issue or it's simply just a grooming issue we are sure that these um vines or whatnot are not helping but we are not sure what this the issue with this jackfruit tree is um nice jackfruit they bear and all of that you do know that this is the way jackfruit bear but once they get to a certain size then this happens they then they then rot um let's see if i can get it right there mm. Yeah, they then rot on the tree and we don't know why. So this, this jackfruit here is rotten. So we don't know why. So my next mission, should I choose to accept? If you know, you know, um, will be to prune this jackfruit tree, prune it back, take off some of the top up there and, um, and then sort of weed out around the clear out around the bowl of the tree and get some fertilizer some proper nitrates and sprinkle around it and try to get it back to tip-top condition hopefully that will help the uh, the tree to bear properly and for help the fruits to remain on the tree this is a very very old mango tree this mango tree is older than i am in fact probably older than my mother in fact and it has been here as i said as long as i've been alive and these things have always been on it 
and they are a parasitic plant I do not know the name of them but as you can see they are very very healthy now it seems to me that they do not really negatively affect the tree in other words they do not kill the tree but they don't really seem to be doing anything to enhance the tree either so at some point I'm going I am going to try to remove them and groom this tree uh, see if we can get it back to being productive some point if not then you know it will remain here as a as an icon uh, I would hate to actually have to cut it down so you know sometimes you have an an uh, unnatural attachment to some things and this tree has been here since I was a kid I wouldn't want to cut it down but it is not being productive not in the state that it is so I'm gonna try to groom it and then see what will come of it now we have this mango tree which is leaning into this pear tree um, I guess it's an interspecies marriage anyhow um, we are treeist you know not racist treeist yeah okay it's a joke anyhow um, they are leaning on each other they are into each other and we are going to stop this uh, we are going to try to again groom these two trees this one the pear tree may have to be taken down I would hope not but I think that is the the only solution or we could remove one branch of this tree or two to give them both air and top the pear tree so that's where we are so you can see there are lots of other very tall trees around all need to be topped all need to have the tops of them removed and all of them need to be cut back so that they spring wide and um, and spread out instead of growing too tall I should also mention <laughs> and this is a weird quirk of having all these trees being so tall um, internet reception around here is extraordinarily poor and this is a weird thing but whenever the breeze blows and the trees move the internet comes and goes weird uh oh so guys as usual we are going to ask you to like subscribe and share the videos and as I said we are going to try to get this property back to its former glory so to speak um, we're going to get all the videos all, all the trees all topped off get all the trees all fixed ensure that they are um, they're all topped as I said make sure that they are properly groomed and uh, you know try to make the property as productive as it used to be so once again guys thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share the videos and as usual you all have a great day